All right. Wolfsbane 2. Ambition is a scary trait. Having ambition can lead even the poorest beggar to untold riches if it is strong enough within. But what about the people who failed to achieve their ambition, but somehow it still drives them? It's simple. It makes them insane. Insane people with ambition are like rabid animals, dying, but their tormented souls threaten to take anyone unfortunate enough to cross their path. But what if, somehow, by an ungodly amount of luck, the failed ambitious person finds what they are looking for? What kind of monster will that create? Almost done. Just one more to go. Don't look at me with those eyes, little one. Your fate was sealed as soon as I declared it this morning. But don't worry. Sometimes, ambition for revenge can be so powerful that it will find a way to punish the person responsible from beyond the grave. I know all the dark places where my mind goes And now I know how you make me feel is something primal I know all the dark places where my mind goes Actually came out a few days ago, but uh, Sinful Beauty got distracted by... He's in a coma? How the hell did he fall into a coma? <coughs> the traumatizing current events in his life have pressurized his brain into overdrive and he fell into a coma as a result. The hell do you mean by traumatizing? He beat a guy half to death in public. If the cops had not shown up, this court trial would have been for murder instead of half murder, which he must attend. <laughs> Officer, how do you expect my son to attend the trial in such condition? I suggest you push the trial date forward. You have some real guts to try and play the system like that. I have no idea what you're talking about. All I know is my son is incapable of attending the trial according to the doctor. Doctor? Do you mean him? He looks more like a drug dealer to me. How dare you? I'll have you know I am a bona fide homeopathic witch doctor from Witchcraft Academy. Homeopathy is worse than drug dealings. At least the drugs by drug dealers are effective. Regardless of what you think, the law states that I am a doctor, so I suggest you get lost. Sir, how about we bring our own doctor in to check him? Their lie would it be easily exposed. Ugh. By the time we do all that, the day will end and the trial would be pushed to a later date. Alright, officer. If you have nothing more to do, I suggest you get out of my house. You. I suggest you drop all this and let your son get the punishment he deserves. Otherwise, things are going to get messy. Was that a threat, Officer Duke? No. That was an honest to God suggestion. Because what happens next will be out of my control. <laughs> was that all you had to say? This isn't a backward country like Raya. This is the Scion Empire. Around here, the cops can't do as they please. You guys can't even draw your sword without having to write a detailed explanation about it. 
So tell me, how are you going to take my son away without losing your job, officer? <sighs> Let's go. We will deal with him later. That's right. Run away. <sighs> yeah, heh, heh. Run away like a little bitch. Go cry for your mommy. <laughs> mommy! Wait, no. That was probably the wrong tone. Er, did he really just cry for his mommy? What the hell? Why is she here? Who's here? Your mother? Everyone's mother, you idiot. Tell your son to wake up now before it's too late. Ugh, she's back? Or she lost in the last round? Her mood must be terrible. Father, do you have a quill and paper? I'd like to write my last will and testament in case I die today. This is some scheme for you to make me surrender my son, then I... Ugh, never mind, it's too late. Hey everyone, long time no see. We are all going to die. Uh, what's going on? Who's this woman? Dookie! Eh. Dookie, listen to this. I made a friend. He's smart, he's funny, and he hates the post office. Uh, there's another one like you out there, too. The world must be ending. But more importantly, I heard you lost, so how are you feeling? Oh, that? I don't care. I have a friend now. The world can burn as far as I care. Don't just burn away the world for your happiness. Enough. What the hell do you think my house is? A park? I thought I asked you pigs to leave my house. Oh, my apologies. I was told that Duke was sent here to arrest someone, so I ran here. Then you had the wrong address, lady. Oh, that's not possible. I asked around where does the rich bitch live. And they pointed me to this house. How dare you! So, what's the problem? Why haven't you been taken why haven't you taken away the criminal yet? Don't you dare ignore me. I'll have your badge taken. Apparently, the guy is in a coma. Who will say I can't simply take away a person who is not conscious? What do you mean, apparently? Are you still doubting my words as a doctor? Oh, are you a doctor? Me too! Did you also graduate from Witchcraft Academy? Eh? Yes. I, I am from homeopathic medicine. Really? From Mrs. Catwitch's class? I'm from Professor Frank E. Stein's class. Eh? What, really? Do you mind if I take a look at the baby? Can you grant this senior this request? Uh, um, sure. You idiot! Stop! I refuse! How can you allow this? Academy rules. When a junior fails, the senior is allowed to step in. Eh? Uh, it's true. When the hell did you become a doctor? Remember the days off Anderson? Remember the days off Anderson made me take? I got so bored that I joined the academy to pass the time. You became a doctor because you were bored? You really are a one-of-a-kind monster. Hmm. Yep, he's in a coma, all right. Hmm. Looks like it was a bluff. See, I told you. But fortunately, my tea served past me pass to me a secret medicine that will make him let's wake up. Say what now? Well, it's more of a lotion. I'll need to spray it all over him. Eh? What was that? What did you pour on my son? And why does it smell weird? It's medicine. Of course it'll smell bad. Now step aside. It's time for phase two of my treatment. Eh? What's phase two? Phase two is... Lighting the medicine on fire. Gah! Hey, son! Put it out! Put it out! Put it out! Put it out! Congratulations, sir! Your son is now awake! My fee is are a million gold coins, by the way. Somebody put out that fire already! Uh, help me! No time to find water. Everyone, stop on him to put out the fire! Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> Sir, the fire is still there! Looks like the fire fell in love with him. Quick, keep kicking until the fire goes out. Yes, sir! <laughs> Thank you. Sir, I can still see some embers. Then what are you waiting for? We're cops, we must save lives, no matter the cost. Yes, sir! 
Well done, boys. Remind me to commend you to Anderson for a promotion. Yes, sir. You're in my foot. How dare you stomp on my son? What's the problem? You simply follow the fire protocol. What's the problem? You guys set my son on fire and you have the nerve to ask what's the problem? Sir, don't look at the methods, look at the result. Your son in a coma is finally awake. Though a bit overcooked. A bit overcooked? He's charred! You, 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 just you wait, I will have your badge. Sure, in the meantime, do carry our esteemed guests to the courtroom. All right, Anderson also asked us to go to a museum. I think it's a new case. All right, I'll join you in a bit. Soldiers, carry him. Sir, the sun is a bit strong to get. I think he'll catch on fire unless we beat him up a bit some more. All right, beat him up more if it seems he'll catch on fire. You have my permission. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Help me! Ugh! Fun! Ah, somehow I feel refreshed. I guess I was a little disappointed that I lost. Oh well. Maybe I can find someone else later to vent my delicate frustration. Dude, I am telling you, she lit the guy on fire. No way, I'd rather believe my girlfriend is cheating on me than accepting the officer had a set suspect on fire. Uh, I don't know if it's a stroke of luck or what, but I have something to tell you. Wait, what? Bro, she came to on to me first. She said it doesn't matter since these soldiers all look the same anyway. You bastard! You are a true dreg of society. Did someone say dreg? Drag here. Is he looking for me? Did he run down our post office already? Uh, no ma'am. I was just calling that scum who you kicked a drag of society. I can't feel my everything. This is retribution. Aw, that's too bad. Now that I think about it, why did his parents name him Dreg? Ooh, maybe that's all I'll use as a conversation starter when I meet him next time. Oh, uh, sure. But you should meet up with Officer Duke first. He's been waiting for you for some time now. Huh? He's here before me? Great, now I'll have to listen to him blabber on about punctuality. Ah, come on, let me get to that potion. It's red, so it must be a health potion. Books about historical figures and their achievements are kept here. Hi there! Nice jump! Did you eat jumping wings this morning? Hello, I'm the receptionist of this place, and welcome to the Scion Museum of Art. This museum houses the artworks created by Master Oliver Gepet. There's an entry fee of five skis to enter. Eh? Entry fee? I'm a cop, and here on official police business. Regardless, Scion state law states that when there's a profit to be made, the law can go to hell. Ah, that's true. But I always wish that they would word it differently. It makes us look like money crazy. Don't show me the money or get lost. Ah, uh, you really are money crazy. I think I have some leftover change from that oil I brought. I bought to put that guy on fire. Cash money. Thank you. Your contribution will help us maintain the museum and pay our salaries. I doubt maintaining the museum is possible with the money I gave you. But regardless, good luck! How the hell are you late when I told you to go ahead? Well, you see, I found this really cold floor in the bazaar and I kind of dozed off on it when I touched it. You and your sleeping spells. I think I should look for a doctor who can cure you of it. But I like sleeping. You see, when I was a kid, I- Save it for when we're done here. Can't you see that we have a dead body here? Eh? Did this person die while standing? What way to go? Eh? Me? I'm not the dead body. Eh? It talks! Quick, Duke! Give me three lemons, and I have a doggy, and a big hammer. I'll exercise this demon. He's not the dead body. He's the curator of this place. The dead body is up there. There was a fire here last night. The janitor seems to have been caught in it and died as a result. Oh, was he trying to put out the fire by himself? How'd the place catch on fire in the first place? That's what we're here to find out.
Okay, I'll check out the place and let you know if I find any morbid clues. Fine, but try not to make a disaster out of this case. I would like to go home early. Wife's orders, huh? Right. No, wait, I mean, damn it. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, this page is full of intimate gossip. I guess I should be wary of the receptionist. Ah, come on. Fine. Can I go around the other way? No? Fine. Other artworks of Master Gepet. Zero. This butterfly. Its poison is so potent, it immediately solidifies even the most delicate body tissue as hard as rock. These scrolls contain random facts about medicine. An unfinished statue behind which are random portraits drawn by Master Gepet. Zero. Ah. I get it now. My third creation, the Gatekeeper of Madness, whose failure leads to a person losing their sense of judgment. My second creation, the Monster of the Soul, the one who is tempted by the Maiden of the Abyss. My first creation, the Maiden of the Abyss, the enticer who tempts us to crave more. This object is related to a clue, but which one? I hereby declare that all jobs will have a mandatory six hour sleep break. No, wait, make that eight. Thank you, thank you. You are too kind. It felt good. No wonder politicians lie so often on stage. The applause can be addicting. Hmm, why would there be a stage of chairs here? It seems it was set up yesterday and not cleared up yet. Concerning the location, maybe this was a special event. Looks like some sort of event took place here yesterday. Maybe the staff would know about it. The third doll, Lily of the Water. The second doll, Violet of the Wind. This doll is burned beyond recognition. Doll burned by recognition beyond the all Please do not touch the exhibits. by management. The first doll, Rosa of the Flame. The fourth doll, Jasmine of the Desert. Burn beyond recognition. The fifth doll, to live with the sky. Burn beyond recognition. Hmm. Looks like there's only plot relevant things left. First doll, Rosa of the Flame. This body is related to a clue. This doll is not burned, but I can't reach it or see it properly because of the body. Maybe later. Alright, time to start talking. Hi Duke, what's new? What's this I hear about you tripping people on horses and laughing at them? That's a slandering lie! You know I don't have a single horse. God damn it lady, you know what I mean. Whoa Duke, calm down. Why are you so jumpy? Are you on drugs? We don't get paid enough new drugs. The only drug in my life is stress. Aw, does Dookie need a vacation? Maybe you could go on a second honeymoon with your wife. I'd rather get a vacation from life than going on a second honeymoon with that woman from the depths of hell. Oh my, maybe I should let her know what you just said. Ah, no! I'm keeping my eye on you. That's creepy. Maybe I should tell your wife that you like keeping your eyes on unmarried young delicate women. Don't you dare. Hi there. I hope you won't ask for money to speak to you. That depends. Pointless chatter is five sicky. See, rumored gossips are ten C's and confirmed gossips are fifty C's. How much for information related to the case? Shows her badge. Aw, you're no fun. Fine, it's free. But if you can share info about that Officer Duke's married life, I can pay you five C's for every juicy gossip. Deal. With the info I hold about him, I can buy a new house with the money I earn. Thank you. Come again. In your dreams. Er, I wasn't here yesterday, so I doubt I can help you much. 
wanted to know about the event that happened here. Yes. Unfortunately, I wasn't here yesterday, but I did hear something interesting from another employee. Do tell. Apparently, the janitor was very grumpy after the event. He was even seen cursing and talking to himself after it. Hmm. Sounds like he was against the event. Right? I thought so too, which is why I told you about it. Thanks. I'll have info about Duke's turmoil sent to you tomorrow. Nice. on candle. Or not? Guess not. Special event? How should I know? Half the staff. What are you looking at? The dolls. Look at the thin and delicate materials their dresses are made from. Uh, why do you know so much about dolls? It's creepy. I don't want to hear that word from you. Besides, what I mean is that no wonder they call on fire so easily. Hmm. That explains why the entire upper floor burned down so fast. All of the dolls are on this floor. Right, but that doesn't explain what happened to the janitor. Maybe he was trying to save the dolls. And possibly died from the suffocating smoke and fire created. That's my theory too, but unless we have some solid leads, it is still a theory. body must be the janitor. Looks like he was the one cleaning out this time. He looks like he was the one cleaned out this time rather than the one cleaning. On closer look, there are little to no burn marks on his body, which means he probably died from suffocation. It's not the fire, it's usually the smoke. He probably inhaled a lot of it, which suffocated him. Regardless, Duke might have some more info on his death since he was here before me. didn't see that doll. Looks like it is the only one which survived the fire. Hmm, what a pretty thing. The doll is incredibly detailed. I wonder it's a famous artwork. I would really like to see it more closely, but if I move the body, Duke will start rambling again. I'll check it out later. I didn't know the old man personally. He was too boring. There's only two people to talk to. What do you think? I think the janitor was trying to put out the fire and hence he was tired and... What? No. I was talking about the doll. Focus, Anna. The doll can wait. I'm trying to tell you how the old man died. Eh? Wasn't it related to the fire? Close. It's a heart attack. He must be running around like a madman to trigger the attack. Really? Then the only reason he would run around is to put out the fire. He must really love this museum if he was trying to stop the raging fire, but unfortunately his body gave up. Seems plausible. We'll keep looking for some more time just to be sure so we don't miss anything. Okay. Hmm, it's obvious that the origin of this fire was the candelabra. Yeah, it seems that the combo Condelabra fell from the table and lit the rug on fire, which spread to the exhibits and hence burning the entire upper floor. Do you think the Condelabra was suicidal and fell on its own, or was it deliberate? I don't have much information for it at the moment. I'll order a guard to ask around if anyone had any grudges against the museum. You do that while I interrogate this Condelabra for more information. Sure, whatever will help you keep your distance from me. Ah, now I can go this way. Nice. I sometimes play rock, paper, scissors with myself in the mirror. So far, I have 56 ties and one loss. Oh, hello. What do we have here? Huh, that's weird. Doesn't this look like the same bottle I bought this morning, which I used to burn down that guy? It smells like it too. Does that mean that this is actually an accelerant? An oil-based accelerant. So that two in this, and that two in a place that caught on fire accidentally. Even a blind person could see this might be a case of arson. I should explore for more info about it. We're not sure this final 
evidence to a potential suspect. Ah, there's also that guy down there. It finally happened. You turned into a real dog after getting abused by your wife for so many years. Can't you smell it? Some portions of the burn pattern are giving off a strange smell. The weird thing is, I think I smelled this odor before. Even today, that is. Oh, then maybe you're smelling this. I think you're smelling the accelerant. Bloody hell, now I remember. It's that accelerant you used to light that guy on fire. Why did you bring it here? Would you believe me if I told you this isn't mine? Of course I believe you. You're the type to flaunt your accomplishments. So where did you find it? Hidden in a small pot inside the museum. Really? Now that's interesting. The same smell is coming from the bird patterns. Looks like this is a case of arson after all. This gives a whole new outlook to this case. I remember you sending a guard to find anyone with a garage against the museum. Tell them to look harder. Got it. Donating my remains to this museum after I die. I think donating them to a dog adoption center would be more useful. <laughs> you may joke now, but have you seen the historical museums and the bodies and skeletons of our predecessors? They may have they may have not been anything special when they were alive. But look at them now, celebrities in their own unique way. Wait, it's unique is your way of thought. I never met someone like you before. I sometimes wish I was an artifact myself so I could be excavated and admired by everyone. I can help you with the first step. That is, burying you deep underground. Mm. Ah, that's a decent nap. I could sleep like this for another four to eight hours, two or three times. Even more. Oh, what's this? One, come all, like just the great miracles of art created by Master Oliver Jepet. In these words, I can deduce that this is a pamphlet. A pamphlet for the museum. I've already paid the entry fee, maybe I can get a tour while I'm at it. Besides, I'm really curious about this Master Oliver Jepet, or Jepet Z Jepet O, as he likes to call himself. this place? Just the bottom floor is fine. We can be quick about it. No need for showmanship. Well, that's fine then. If you look to your left, you can see Master Geppetto's first creations. As you can see, they're not even close as good at, to, his close, to his current work. So ugly and not all lifelike. What changed that made him a better artist? For that, you need to look to your right. It's said that these combination of portraits and other works had the secret to his success. Did anyone figure it out yet? Unfortunately, not yet. But it does keep the customers entertained long enough for me to take my break. You know, it's weird, but I feel like I know the location shown on that map. Oh, if you do figure it out, let me know. I'm very curious myself. Sure. Geppetto made one doll only once per year. That's how meticulous he is in his work. Although we are expecting a new one this very week, it is not enough to replace the four we lost. Eh? You're expecting a shipment this week? Yes, but I doubt Master Geppetto will keep it in this museum after he hears what has happened. He doesn't know yet? He goes into solitary places with no contact to finalize his dolls a month before presenting them. So he won't know what happens until he gets back? Yes. If you want to tour as the staff, you already paid the visitation fees anyway. I'm a 
afraid I don't have any information regarding this incident since I arrived this morning. Oh, you wish to know about the event we had yesterday? Yes, is it secretive? Not at all. You see, Scion has a yearly contest to rank the best museums of the Scion Empire. To rank them, the royal court sends someone to check the overall value of the museum. You mean like an appraiser? Yes, an appraiser. He also checks the museum customer traffic and other stuff. It is the first time our museum was actually selected to participate since its founding, so I threw a little occasion for it. Ah, uh, alas, it seems that fate had a different plans. It is really a tragedy. Hmm, competition can be fierce. Is there a chance this whole thing is about rivalry? Make someone a great employee. Uh. Correct. He's been with us ever since we opened this museum almost six years ago. Even after becoming so old, he still works hard. I was thinking of giving him an early good retirement plan. I see. Anything more you can tell me? Not much. He really liked to keep to himself. He didn't interact with other employees unless necessary. An overall quiet guy. I see. Thank you. And... Arson. Why do not show this vital evidence to a potential subject? Suspect. Alright. Check over stuff. Floor had an arrangement of tables and chairs which suggests that some event happened here. The 
the event was held to welcome the appraiser who worked for the country's museum rankings, who was going to check the values of all the exhibits present. The receptionist was puzzled over the fact that the janitor was highly against the event. Adam found a pamphlet of the museum and decided to take a tour of it. The bottom floor consists of random artwork made by Geppetto. They seem to be placed without rhyme or reason. Geppetto's dolls are made only once a year, and the museum is expecting a new one this very week. What is it? I think this case is more convoluted than it originally seems. So it is a case of arson, since you are interested in it. Yes, but I think the true reason for the arson is different from normal. Oh, looks like you have figured something out. Let me call both of them and we'll see what you have to say. Okay. Ambition is a scary thing. It can allow people to reach new, undiscovered heights. Or, it can even take a, take a person to the unimaginable depths of hell. And what happened here is the result of the ambition of several people. So one can only guess as to how deep we're going to we are going down to hell to find what has transpired. How ominous. What an interesting phrase. How is this related to the case? He's trying to say that last night's fire was not an accident, but something that was done intentionally. What? Is this true? I'm afraid so. I even have proof of it. As we all know, the fire started when a certain object fell on the rug of the upper floor. The candelabra, right? Eh? Are you saying that it didn't fall down by accident? Even if it did fall down by accident, the flame was not strong enough to burn that thick rug so fast. Eh? So what caused the fire? The fire was spread with the help of this item. This is an accelerant. It was used to spread the fire to the entire upper floor. My goodness. How can this be? It's true. You can smell traces of the liquid on some of the burn spots. Hey, but who would want to burn down the museum? Isn't it obvious? It would be our rivals for the contest. I didn't expect those bastards to stoop so low. Sorry to disappoint, but it wasn't them. The proof of that is this item. According to this receipt for the accelerant, it was bought under this museum's name, and the only ones who can do that are the employees. Hold on, are you saying one of us did it? This is insane. I'm about to burn down the place I care about. I never said it was one of you. Eh? Duke, did your guard find the information we sent him out for? Yep, he followed the receipt to the shop, which is pretty far from here, and confirmed who bought the accelerant. Eh? Who? Isn't it obvious by now? It was the janitor. The janitor? Are you crazy? He's the one who died. Shopkeeper confirmed it. It was him. But, but why? He was a big fan of Master's Art. Why would he do this? To answer all your questions, we have to go a bit back. If I remember correctly, the janitor joined this museum when it opened, which was almost six years ago. Yes, he worked very hard and didn't complain a bit. Until yesterday, that is. Something happened yesterday which made him agitated. Ah! The event! The janitor was seen grumpy after it. What? Why? Ah. If my guess is correct, he didn't want a certain someone examining the dolls. The appraiser's job is to examine the exhibits closely, which obviously irked him. Which I think is also the motive behind burning down a museum. I think he didn't want an expert examining the dolls, which is why he burned them all. Eh? But why? Usually, things like this point to the counterfeit goods. I don't think these dolls are the real ones. No, that's impossible. I can assure you these dolls are real. I can tell each fold and crease of them even if they're burnt. Eh? Why do you burn down all the dolls? Not all of them. He missed this one, because before he could do anything, he died of a heart attack. Now then, someone moved the body. I want to see what he wanted to hide so desperately. Yes, ma'am. Let's see here, what does this little doll have to say? 
There are no obvious cuts, so we can rule out smuggling. You know, we can't find anything special, except that this doll is really well made. Of course, Master Japan's dolls are famous for their tender yet intricate details. You are right. This door is really adorable. Especially, it's big, round... eyes. Thank you. Holy crap. Eh? Ada? What's wrong? This... this is beyond my expectations. Alright, now I'm curious. You were saying about his eyes, right? Wait, Duke, don't... What's wrong? I can't see any... Uh, eh? Wait, that, that can't b b be... Yep. Holy crap, I... Ugh, I'm gonna... Ugh. Eh, oh my god, what's wrong with him? It's not him that's at fault. It's this doll. Eh? I don't understand. The doll. It's eyes. They are not made by Master Geppet. Eh? Then who made them? Probably the parents of the original owner of these eyes. You don't m mean... Yep, they're real. Real human eyes. That explains why the eyes look real in so detailed. Because they are. Oh my god, you're gonna throw up. The of these dolls are real? Oh my god, how is that possible? Couldn't you guys decompose or smell that at least? Not if you know a good taxidermist. Ugh. God, that was excruciating. Oh, by the way, Patrick DePetto is also a taxidermist. But, but I don't understand. Master, DePetto, oh, why? Good point. Let's discuss it. Master Olive DePet. Or Depet O, as he likes to call himself, rose to fame with these dolls since his statues were considered hilarious. Yes, he was a rather really little artist back then. Tell me about his personal life. Uh, he graduated art school like his father, but was now successfully as him at first. He met the love of his last during this period, but they say they the couple of two divorced and went their separate ways. This one is not known by any parents. Rosa. That's right. That this doll. Ah, this doll was named after her. Wait, I, don't tell me. Yep, Rose's eyes were used to make this very first doll. I'm gonna go home. Then all these dolls have eyes of real human beings? Wait a friggin' second. Violet, Lily, Jasmine, Hewlett. Oh, did you realize something? You're damn right I did. Those four women have gone missing. I well, guess is correct. These women are missing once per year. Yes. And around this month, too. Hey, hey. Didn't you say that the pet owner was going to deliver an old no, no doll by the end of the week? Yes. I'm afraid so. But this doesn't mean he's always... Not necessarily. We need to find him in a wrestling room before we have another victim. But he goes into solitude during this time. No one knows where he is right now. What? Does that mean we can only wait to hear for him to kill it to deliver from the doll? No, we don't. What? If I remember correctly about the tour, the answer to our questions can be found on the bottom floor. Thankfully, the guy's gotten so bold that he left clues to his secret in the exhibits at the bottom floor. Ah, that's right. He did. We must look at it again now that we know the whole story. And what are we waiting for? Ah, now that I think about it, didn't that place in the portrait look familiar? Oh, how nostalgic. I think he chose that place of all places. Looks like that place likes to attract crazy people, just like it attracted me. Did you find anything, Officer Duke? Son of a bitch, it's all here. The juices from these butterflies can solidify the eyes. Scrolls here consist of body anatomy, surgical procedures, body preservations. How could I have been so blind? It's all, it is damn obvious that Janner was in cahoots with Geppet O. No wonder no one actually found anything conclusive. The portraits. According to Geppet, the location where he works is clued in them. The map is obviously a scion, so it is within our authority. 
But a manhunt in such a large area is still impossible. Hey, wait. That place in the portrait. I feel like I've seen it somewhere. Ah, Officer Ada said the same thing. Ada? Wait. Now I remember. Ada, isn't this the orphanage you grew up in? Eh, Ada? Where'd you go? Almost done. Just a little bit of finishing touches and another masterpiece will be completed. Delilah, you're almost done. Soon, the world will see another masterpiece. Ah, you're silent now. But when you'll get your eyes, they'll be louder than any voice, hushing the criticizing masses. <laughs> on. Ah, Miss Delilah, you're awake. Splendid. We can begin immediately. <sighs> ah, please don't bother struggling. I gave you enough muscle relaxer to make sure that the operation goes smoothly. <sighs> no, no, no. Please don't cry. You're about to become a masterpiece. You'll be very famous. You should be rejoicing. <laughs> Now then, without further ado, let's begin, shall we? <coughs> Hold still. Everything is going to be fine now. For me, that is. Yeah. Who's there? You know, this orphanage is kind of huge. If not for your crazy laugh, I might have been a bit too late. It's okay, honey. I see you. Don't worry, I'm here to help you. Oh? You'll save her? me, from someone who has stared into the abyss. But who is going to help you? <laughs> wow. That crazy laugh may not be in my top three, but it is definitely in my top ten. Yeah? Pretty brave of you. You know what? You can stop now. What? I've heard them all. I'm dangerous, I'll boil your teeth, I'll skin you alive, my mother didn't love me as a kid. So many of you taking pride in your craziness, but alas, all of you are frogs at the bottom of a well, compared to her. Yeah, compared to who? You said you're someone who stared at the abyss and survived, right? Yes, yes I have. I wonder how you'll fare against me. Who has lived in the abyss? Ah! Uh, uh, What's wrong? Don't you like my eyes and looking into the abyss? Uh, Look at me. I am the real darkness. I am the abyss. I am what makes humans go mad with ambition. Uh, I am Azul, the angel of ambition. How are you feeling? Bad deal. Thank you very much. Looks like it'll take some time for that muscle relaxer to wear off. What happens if... Oh, that? He realized he was a bad man and admitted defeat. Don't worry. Things like these happen to me all the time. Eh? What can I say? I have those special eyes. They make people feel guilty. Now then, since we have nothing better to do till Duke and the other cops arrive, how about I take a well-deserved nap? Eh, nah, yeah. I can sleep anywhere. It is my specialty. Really? Since birth? Actually, no. It all happened a long time ago. Here, in fact. I used to be a little girl. Right here. In this orphanage. I can't sleep. Eh? Like every night? Yes. Why? Scared. Scared of what? Ghosts? No, worse. Sheesh, do you always talk so little? Are you worried that your voice has a shortage and you're trying to conserve it? No. Hey, stop harassing her. Can't you see that, see that she feels cornered seeing so many eyes on her? She's new, give it a break. Thanks. What the? 
Why are you kids not sleeping? Go to bed, now. Matron, the new girl says she never sleeps. How is that possible? Didn't you hear me? Go to bed. Hey, yes, ma'am. You're the new girl, right? What's your name? I don't have one. Well, no matter. You're now a Graceheart. We give you that surname to... We give that surname to all orphans to make them feel like family in this Graceheart orphanage. Okay. Is it true? You don't sleep well. I don't sleep at all. Oh dear. Don't worry. Tomorrow the kind doctor who cures our children for free will visit. We'll see if he can help. Okay. Thank you, matron. Er. Oh right. I haven't introduced myself. My name is Ad Adeline. Adeline Graceheart. Too long. Had a better. Okay, if that will help us be friends. No, can you at least try to sleep? Maybe a change of environment will help. Okay. Good girl. Good night and sweet dreams. Good night. It's here too. Why? Why do you keep doing this? Mother. I can't sleep. I can't look away. I do. My insides will start screaming at me, telling me that I'll die. She'll kill me. I must stay awake. I must be vigilant. I need to keep staring at those monstrous eyes, otherwise I'll die. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Somebody. Anybody. Please help me. Wolf Bane 2. Sinful Beauty. Uh, yeah, I'll just skip that entirely. 